Hello YouTube, Sam from youtube.com slash onlivegamer here for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at comments. Now comments are very useful in your programs and um, it's good practice to use them a lot when you're making bigger programs so that other people that you may be working with on your project can read your code and understand it or so that you can also read your code and understand it. Let's say you go back and then you forget, well, what was this doing? What is this connected to? Oh, look, the, the comments right here tell me what this does. So let's go ahead and create a new project. We're going to select a console application. I'm just going to call this comment. Click OK. And it will load our project. Now let's go ahead and create that Hello World program that we made in the last tutorial. Um, BB is throwing a fit right now. Okay, there we go. Um, let's go ahead and do console dot write line hello world and then we'll do console dot read line okay so now let's add some comments to this so anybody re reading this will know what's going on so to do this you start by adding a quotation not double quotes just single quotes and then anything you type on that line is going to be part of the comment so we'll just say um, this line writes the text hello world to the console now down here below this we'll type this line pauses the program and lets the user read the text now if we go ahead and run this you can see that the comments don't affect our code in any way now when you compile your program Comments are always ignored by the compiler. So is white space. So this white space right here, we can add as much white space as we want. And it's still going to run the same. You can also add multi-line comments and it won't affect your program at all. So um, test. And if we go ahead and run this, it's going to say, hello world. You can also add comments to lines of code that don't have comments in it themselves, such as this console.writeLine statement right here. I can add a comment after that that says, Hello world is a literal string. And it won't affect the program at all. And if we go up here and run this, it's going to come out fine. Visual Basic also has a built-in toolbar option up here. Let me get rid of this real quick. That lets you comment out lines of code. So let's say we want to comment this out. We can just come up here and click comment out the selected lines. Or we can do control K. And then control C. And it will effectively comment out these lines and so now if we go ahead and run the program you can see that the program runs fine all it does is lets us read the line and it doesn't actually print out hello world and now to uncomment them you just highlight what you want to uncomment come up here and click this and it'll uncomment it, comment it for you now I can also do it right here and if we run this you can see that it flashes open real fast and then closes